Broadcasting live from the Subaru of Gwinnett Studios in Atlanta, it's time for Silver Lining in the Cloud, brought to you by Computer Design and Integration. Good morning, Atlanta, and welcome to Silver Lining in the Cloud, where we talk with business leaders from Atlanta and the surrounding communities. Silver Lining in the Cloud is sponsored by CDI Managed Services, where we provide outsourced IT consulting and integrated solutions. I'm your host, Nicole Toptosh. With us today in the studio, joining us for Technology Innovation Month is Evan Jarecki, CCO, and Corey Hewitt, CEO, both co-founders of Gimme Vending. Welcome, guys. Hey, good morning. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being on the show. Um, congratulations again on being recognized as one of the top innovative companies in Atlanta. Uh, what an honor. Yeah, thank you. Thank when you. I hear that name, Gimme Vending, I <laughs> love the name. So tell us about Gimme Vending and what you do. Sure. Uh, well, the the name Gimme, I, I guess I'll back up a little bit about how Corey and I met uh, mm -hmm. because it is the uh, the very beginning of where Gimme came from. Mm -hmm. When I first met Corey, we were both working at uh, Gulfstream uh, down and working in cockpit electronics on private jets. Um, and mm -hmm. while we worked there, Corey told me about his side business, mm -hmm. and this was servicing vending machines. He owned and operated about 26 vending machines, mm -hmm. told me all about his business, mm -hmm. uh, some of the challenges he, he faced during uh, owning this business. Right. And for the next two years, we, we talked about it. Uh, we, we went to Georgia Tech together during that time and uh, hung out for, for those semesters. And by the time I was ready to graduate, I was going to graduate from Georgia Tech, he pitched me on a business idea to build technology for vending operators like him and like others in, right. in the U.S. and in the world. And, it's uh, a huge industry. It's a, it's a massive industry mm -hmm. and severely lacking technology in certain areas. And um, that was when we started, started the business to, to join and build technology for that industry specifically. Mm -hmm. And actually, at the time, I don't think we had a name for it when we right, first launched right. it at Georgia Tech. <laughs> so uh, Evan and I were in a room, and we agreed that we wouldn't leave the room until we came mm -hmm. up with a name. We filled up whiteboards. And uh, it was actually Evan's idea that, uh, you know, what would show someone that we built a business that's all about speed, quick convenience. So we thought, hey, you know, give it to me, give it to me now. So mm -hmm. Gimme became the name. Gotcha. So how is your company changing the vending industry as we know it? Well, it's it's very interesting. The way I look at it now is uh, uh, you, it's it's timing, it's place and timing in, in a certain industry when you want to bring something to so it. True. And when we launched in 2014, mm -hmm. um, there, what we were working with and what we were working to replace was old, outdated handheld technology. Uh, this was old school Motorola. Look, mm -hmm. they looked like huge cell phones, huge <laughs> printers. On I these. remember those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a little curly Q plugs <laughs> oh, that you'd yeah. have to plug into each vending machine. Everything wired for every vending machine. They were heavy. Mm -hmm. And um, at this time, iPads had been around for a couple of years. There was new technology out there with Bluetooth and some of the, um, the ways that we looked at innovating the industry. Right. And that was exactly what we did. We evangelized this new movement of technology for the entire vending industry. Um, and I guess Corey could probably tell us about what we're working on today mm -hmm. to do that again. Okay. Sure. So we're moving away from the old brick curly Q plugins to each vending machine. We allowed operators, the people who run these vending machines, to go completely wireless. Mm -hmm. And when you enable them to connect to all of their machines quickly and easily, they get to start doing uh, some more interesting things with their machines as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd say that we've helped change the vending industry by just better connecting people mm -hmm. with, you know, the, mm -hmm. the business empires that they're creating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I understand that you're moving uh, from vending machines to micro markets. What exactly is a micro market and how does your technology work there? So I think when people think of a vending machine, you know, we see it on sitcoms where a snack gets stuck and somebody's, you know, arm <laughs> is trying to fish something out or they're, you know, rocking the machine, which actually is dangerous. But, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's what we think of with vending. Uh, micro markets are kind of like big vending machines except no glass plate in front. It's just shelves and coolers that you can walk up to and grab an item off and slide it across a scanner to check out without ever interacting with a human. Mm -hmm. So kind of like a really big vending machine where you check out yourself uh, except there's no glass pane in front. And we see those popping up 
so quickly now. Five years ago, there were no micro markets, and mm-hmm. now there are, uh, uh, for some of our customers who had no mark no micro markets five years ago, now over 50% of the revenue is coming from this new style of unattended retail. So it's just exploding in the vending industry. Wow. Uh, we're seeing it pop up a lot in office buildings mm-hmm. where you could go and grab a sandwich, mm-hmm. slide it across the scanner, and check out without ever having to uh, talk to a cashier or wait in line somewhere. Right. That makes sense because I think about these big office buildings and when you go downstairs to the only cafeteria that's there, you're on this yep. long line, and by the time you pay for your lunch, your lunch time is over so that makes <laughs> right. a whole lot of sense i get it okay so do you have any uh local customers and also can you um fill us in on the uh the interesting story that you were sharing earlier about uh being georgia tech students and now serving the georgia tech community with your technology sure sure when we launched our our business out of georgia tech uh, what that means is we were, we were actually out of a program called create x mm-hmm. at georgia tech yeah. um, from create x to radio x from create <laughs> x to radio x exactly um, CreateX is an amazing program. Uh, it's, a, it's essentially an accelerator during the summer uh, summer semester for new business ideas and early business ideas to launch their business and find their first customer. And that's exactly what we did uh, during the summer of 2014. Mm-hmm. Um, we probably talked to uh, about 200 operators, mostly in the southeast, where we just drove around and traveled to interview them. Um, but uh, we... There was one nearby uh, called Southern Refreshment Services who ended up becoming our, our very first customer in Tucker, Georgia, um, a medium to large size operator uh, that really helped us uh, incubate and start the company with, in some pretty interesting ways mm-hmm. as well. Um, they gave us early office space to, to work and build the technology, which was huge early on. Um, we got a lot of firsthand feedback from end users and the buying customer as well. So right. um, it was the perfect experience. We could It was the best thing we could have asked for to start the business with the people that would eventually be uh, using the technology mm-hmm. as well. And then uh, last year, Southern Refreshment Services ended up buying a company called Old Fashioned Foods. Old Fashioned Foods has the contract to service the vending machines at Georgia Tech's campus. Mm-hmm. And when they did, our technology ended up being deployed back to Georgia Tech's campus. So for us, uh, I remember 2014, it's uh, one in the morning, we're in the basement, uh, they call it the Kulk, the Clough Undergraduate Learning Center. And we were in the basement, you know, prototyping our our technology, our software and our hardware to connect to the vending machine. And uh, now to see five years later, people are using it, uh, you know, employees of the vending company are using it to make sure those vending machines stay stocked with the snacks that Georgia Tech students really like to eat. Mm-hmm. That's just, it's <laughs> neat to see it come full circle. Like, right, ah, right. That, that is pretty impressive. Yeah, right. We built it there, now they're mm-hmm. paying Using to it. use it there. Mm-hmm. Right, right. If you're just tuning in uh, with us this morning, we're talking with Evan Jarecki and Corey Hewitt, co-founders of Gimme Vending, on Silver Lining in the Cloud, sponsored by Computer Design and Integration. So uh, we talked about earlier about uh, being recognized um, as one of Georgia's top innovative companies. Uh, that's pretty exciting and a great honor. What do you think made you stand out this year? Well, what's exciting is some of the ways that we've stood out is how different life is for our customers before they deployed our technology and after. So our customers are people who operate vending machines, mm-hmm. usually 500 or more, so 500 to 10,000 vending machines, and micro markets, mm-hmm. those uh, unattended uh, self-checkouts where you can buy sandwiches and drinks. Mm-hmm. Before, they were doing everything by hand, hand counting, hand estimating, trying to guess at what they'd need to pack in their truck and go. After we give them uh, exacts. Here is what's in your machine. Here's mm-hmm. where they are. Here's what they need. Here's where you go mm-hmm. out to refill them. That's helped us stand out with the level of innovation that we've had to, uh, whether it was building that brand new piece of hardware uh, that could plug into a vending machine to make it wireless automatically, or whether it was uh, some of the new software that made their lives easier. The results are what helped us stand out. Mm-hmm. What's exciting, though, is what's actually happened since we've been named Georgia Top Innovative Company. And that's because we just released a brand new product that actually uh, you can hold up an iPhone or an iPad if you're one of our customers. And the camera on it can identify the product that it's looking at and count how many there are, which hmm. for the application for our customers is huge for time savings and for accuracy. And I think that uh, there's a lot of application beyond just vending machines mm-hmm. where it could be valuable for somebody to be able to identify and count 
products without having to identify or count products manually, not not having to pay a human to do that. Right. So what do you think uh, is unique about Georgia's tech industry? Well, it's a that's a, a great question. I, th- I think the biggest change that I've seen and what's really unique about it is we've challenged the status quo of mm-hmm. Atlanta, uh, Atlanta tech industry as well. I think traditionally when, when, when I first learned about it, it was a big fintech hub. When I look at Atlanta today and Georgia today, it is a mix of a lot of different technology companies from, you know, I see it as, I mean, I see it as the growing Silicon Valley of the mm-hmm. South where um, it's becoming attractive in so many different ways. And um, I mean, for, for us, we, I think, have a very unique and interesting industry that's tradi- traditionally maybe not the, the sexiest of industries, <laughs> uh, but it is, uh, it, and I'm, we're seeing that, I think, in more, more areas where right. there are traditional industries with new companies in Atlanta specifically that are building technologies to help those industries kind of get into the 21st century or um, however you may, may look at it. So that's what I think is so unique about mm-hmm. Georgia right now. And we've been the beneficiary of some of the things that make Georgia unique. For sure. Georgia Tech. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we, came, we were both students at that school. They have some incredible programs to help students become entrepreneurs. ATDC, mm-hmm. specifically designed to help mm-hmm. people commercialize technology. Atlanta Tech Village, uh, mm-hmm. of which we're a member, to help connect people together and provide office space where the spontaneity of uh, who you might meet or bump into while you're there could turn mm-hmm. into the next uh, big thing. Mm-hmm. The level of support from Atlantans to other Atlantans mm-hmm. trying to get started with entrepreneurship is uh, so, so high. Yeah. And uh, right. that being able to support your community in entrepreneurship, I think, makes us truly unique is helping us become the Silicon Valley of the South. That's what I'm talking about. When it comes to science <laughs> and technology, it's, it's just rapidly changing, you know, and especially with software. And you guys seem to be really in touch with what's going on. And, you know, and it shows, you know, with all the accolades and awards that you guys are winning. So kudos to you. How are you impacting the vending and micro market industry? And I also understand that you just signed some significant new partnership uh, agreements. Can you guys expand on that? Absolutely. So the vending business, we help make sure that the right product gets shipped at the right time to Mm -hmm. the right machine. The micro markets, we help with this really fast level of inventorying and accuracy. Uh, When you lose the glass plate, in front of a vending machine when Mm -hmm. people can just walk up and grab something they could also walk up and move something Mm -hmm. Uh, and that was never possible with a vending vending machine before Mm -hmm. so it's more important than ever that operators are able to see what goes where and how many Mm -hmm. so they can either uh, reorganize things or order more to make sure something doesn't run out we also operate for people who make deliveries to the backs of grocery stores Mm -hmm. so that same type of technology hardware and software we can use for say a bakery who's dropping off a pallet of bread to the local Kroger. We can help make sure that their bread, as it's moved around the shelves and is purchased, is restocked and replenished at the right frequency. And for us, uh, that's just grown so quickly for us in the last 12 months. Uh, We had no uh, customers about 15 months ago, and now we have uh, over a dozen Fortune 500 companies uh, that use our technology to make sure that things that they sell in grocery stores Mm -hmm stay in stock. Mm-hmm. And uh, although I can't name them, those would be the significant new partnerships for us are uh, the dozen Fortune, five, five, Fortune 500 companies that use us to yeah, do that. I for believe, sure. Uh, Publix might be using your technology care. Because I remember being in the store the other day looking for an item, and I asked one of the guys if he had any more in the back, and typically they would go in the back and check, and he just pulled out this device and he goes, no, there's only one left, and I guess you got it. So I ended up getting the rain check, so I can see how valuable <laughs> uh, that is uh, to uh, customers to be able to keep, you know, a stock of their inventory and know what's needed. I wish we could take credit for that one. That one's a different <laughs> system than ours, but yeah, they're okay. they're interrelated. Sure. Sure. Right, right. But, but I'm glad I get that you the concept. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I'm just you know prepared to wait, and he just pulled it up right out of his pocket, and he knew what was in stock. You right, know, and that's it. That's important for them. Great story, guys. How can our listeners uh, get in contact with you to learn more and, and to utilize your technology, your software? Well, we try to be uh, as transparent and uh, about what we do and as clear about that, and everything can be found on our website, mm-hmm. uh, www.vending.ai.com. Mm-hmm. 
.com, .ai, or www.gimmevending.com okay. as well. Um, with Corey and I individually, um, I'm on Twitter, just my name, mm-hmm. Evan Jarecki, mm-hmm. um, and, uh, and I like to stay active on there and uh, definitely in the community try to go to uh, the local tech events mm-hmm. uh, and stay and participate in many ways. So mm-hmm. this has been uh, a privilege to be on as well. Well, we're happy to have you guys. Uh, thank you, Picalicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been listening to Silver Lining in the Cloud, where we talk business to business and help you get the word out. Thank you to our great guests today, Corey Hewitt and uh, Evan Jarecki, co-founders of Gimme Vending. We appreciate you for what you do for the community, and thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Nicole. Thank I'm, you, Nicole. You're welcome. I'm Nicole Toptosh, and on behalf of CDI Managed Services, As a reminder, to listen to this show and other Silver Lining in the Cloud broadcasts, go to GwinnettBusinessRadioX.com. And until next time, remember, when it comes to IT solutions, CDI Managed Services is your Silver Lining in the Cloud.